Today I'm out in the shop working on my SLT 1554 Cub Cadet lawn tractor, but this applies to any 1000 and to 1500 series Cub Cadet lawn tractor. I'm talking about the mower deck and specifically the blades today. At the end of the last mowing season, I started to replace my blades, but ran into an issue. I'm trying to upgrade my blades to a little bit longer size blade to improve my tip speed, to get a little bit better cutting performance, a little bit better cutting speed, but it didn't turn out so well so far. Let me describe my problem. You can see my issue. I'm running two different size blades on my mower deck, and this isn't making for a happy mowing situation because you can see that the ears are broken off my old blade. I had to go back to my original blades, which are 18 and a quarter long from tip to tip. And I went with the new blades, the 810 blades. And this model, you can see the overall length is 19 and an eighth. Let me back up and describe my issue. This is the Cub Cadet catalog page. And if we zoom in to the mower deck assembly here, you can see that item number 46 is our blade. There's three of them. 46 that description is an 18.5 inch high lift blade for the 54 inch deck that is our base so let's bring it into a spreadsheet this is the stock size blade 18 and a half inch has a three quarter inch hole and this is the old part number here if you're interested i wanted to go with a longer blade for a higher tip speed the row in blue is the the 19 and an eighth inch blade that we were just looking at. That won't work in the center, but it'll work on the outside for the outside blades. And of course, there's some overlap if you have all three blades. So I really need a, a shorter inside blade. So I selected the orange blade. However, the issue is it's got a 5 8 hole instead of three quarter inch hole. So that's hard steel. And it's hard to drill that out, but I drilled that out, that 5 8 hole, to a 3 quarter inch hole so that I could use this shorter blade. And really, I could have used an even longer blade. This um, blade down here on the bottom, the 3 quarter inch hole with a 18 and a half inch, probably would have been a little bit too long, but might have been a better selection. I'd really like to get those blades and try those out. But this is what I settled with and what I ordered. So when I put these blades on, I had to tweak my mower deck. This inside shroud needed to be straightened. It had a dent in it. This leading edge had a little bit of a clearance problem, probably on that side. On this side, had a little bit of a clearance problem right there. I had to fix that. And then of course this outfeed chute, this lower bracket, you can see how that has uh, been tweaked and kind of rounded. I had to modify that slightly but the mowing performance of these blades are greatly improved I like the way these cut of course my center section cuts like crap compared to the outside and I couldn't go with this same size blade because tip to tip it would hit I knew I'd have to fix this situation at the beginning of this mowing season so here's what I've gone with I've selected this blade it's also for by 810 it's also a high lift blade it has a similar profile it's not as wide it's 18 and an eighth from tip to tip this blade should work at least for the length however my spindles are three quarter inch spindles and this particular blade is 5 eighths center hole so I'm going to have to drill that hole out to make this one work. But this blade appears to be fine. So at this point, you're probably thinking, you know, why didn't you go with the Cub Cadet blades? That probably would have been a good choice. But I was trying to go with a, a better performing blade and a heavier duty blade, a thicker blade. And uh, 
this is what I ended up with. And I'll put a link to the Amazon page in my video's description to both of these blades. That's the center blade drilled out to three quarter inches. And it's like there's plenty of clearance. A little more almost looks like this could have been another eighth of an inch or quarter of an inch longer So there's plenty of clearance. All I gotta do is grease my spindle bearings and put my mower deck back on and give it a try. So these are both high lift, different profile though. So I hope that the, I won't be able to notice the difference between the center and the outside. Of course, it was pretty obvious with the old blade on the center. That was pretty pathetic, the way it was cutting before. So I'm hoping this is a great improvement so maybe the next time I need a blade on here, I'll try a little bit longer blade. I could probably go another quarter inch longer than that with 18 and 3 eighths would probably be a good blade. I'll let you know how that goes, but that concludes the video. If you found it helpful, let me know in the comments and please subscribe. This is what the grass profile looks like when all three blades aren't exactly the same so that center high lift blade doesn't have the exact lift and of course it's got a different tip speed but um, if you can tell that the center isn't cut quite at the same profile as the outside so this is concentric rings around this tree you can see that a little bit different discoloration right here in the center that's the center blade outside blade and then or outside blade and inside blade to the turn i guess and then uh, the center blade and then come over here looks like the center blade isn't quite cutting as low 